Coach, these tournament games are never easy to win, no matter where they're at in the tournament, but especially that first one. And we don't have to repeat the history. We know how the first one in this ballpark is hard for you to get. I'm sure just to get it is just, I don't know if it's a sigh of relief, if that's the best way to describe it, but you got the first one. Well, I, we got the first one. It's the best way you can say it. I mean, we, we did some things out of character. Um, I thought the guys pressed a little bit. You know, I told John the radio after the game, you know, we're used to 40, 50 degrees and 100 people up there. And the, the support tonight was fantastic. And I thought maybe we pressed a little too, a, a little bit just to, to want to play really well. So just keep doing what you're doing. So we can live with that. We can live with that. I mean, I'd much rather have guys wanting it too badly than not wanting it at all. I always describe Grant as being a Mr. Reliable type player for you. What makes him in those big moments? It feels like when you need a big hit and he's got the bat in his hands, he's able to come. That's uh, That came from back home in Colorado. That came from, from having a family and a dad that, that played at a high level, that understands the game and prepped him for those moments. And uh, he's better in them. Um, but that, to me, when you see guys that can step it up like that in those moments, they've been prepared for it their entire life. I felt like that double was big in multiple ways. One, because you were able to score three on it, but initially ruled foul, and then it had to go under review. You guys felt pretty confident that it was fair, but that's still a point in the game where it felt like you weren't getting a break, and that was another one that didn't go your way. How big was it when it finally did go your way? Well, I was worried about a couple of things. Number one, did they have an angle? We saw the, the white fly where it hit the line. We, we, we knew it was fair. We were hoping that they had a good angle uh, on replay. And then the other thing that we were concerned about, as quick as the arms went up that it was foul, are they gonna bring everybody back and rule it a, a single, which Coach Smiley and I were deciding who was gonna get tossed if that were the case. Uh, but those were the concerns on that play. How would you describe how Matt really pitched today? I know it may not be described as one of his best, but it also seemed like whenever he did give up a run, your offense was there to pick him right back up in the, in the other half inning. I, I thought he was good. I, I thought, and I just told the club in there, I, I did not do a very good job syncing up with him uh, early on. You know, the pitch calling, Coach Hancock and I sit there and we go through that stuff and talk about it a lot. And, and uh, I just didn't feel like I, I did a good job in terms of getting him in a rhythm. And that's something as you move forward, you know, you, I think part of it was we haven't played UIC in so long. And we know they were very capable offense. We went back and looked at the tape where Matt pitched against them earlier in the year. Um, so I, I don't think it was a case where Matt didn't have it. I think it was a case where the zone was tight and it took us a few innings to get a rhythm together. And how difficult is that lineup to navigate? I mean, it really seemed like, I know Missouri State may be the best offensive team in the league, but it doesn't seem like UIC's numbers are too far off. No, they're not. They're a good club and they're well coached. They're an aggressive club, they're hard-nosed, they're tough, they're tough outs. And we knew that going in. We knew it was going to be a dogfight to the, to the last out in the ninth. You already mentioned it. I think you know that the community has embraced your team, not just today, but all year long. But when you go out there, you exchange the lineup cards, you see how big the crowd is, you see it grow as the game goes along. Hopefully it grows throughout the week, but just as a former player hosting this tournament, just what, what that meant to you, even though I know you're locked into the game and can't think a whole lot about it. I told the guys, it's, I've been around this stadium a long time. It's the first time I've heard a crowd clapping with two outs in the ninth, kind of that clap for the third out. First time ever here. So that's that's the great part. And I told the guys, hey, you're, you're changing things here. You know, be proud of what you've accomplished to this point. And don't press to try to don't don't press and try to impress people right now. Just keep doing what you're doing. So I, I think that again, I thought we pressed a little bit for the crowd, but we really appreciate it. It was a great crowd tonight.